This is some chonky acrylic. substances oh that it's like melted acrylic can't really see it too well did I build this right it looks kind of crooked or like it's like canting inward when it should be canting outward ah there is an assembly guy <laughs> dang it if you decide to build it by gut instinct and mess up somewhere that is I. <laughs> In fairness, I don't think that the washer would have prevented the scratch that I just caused, but you know, it's my fault. Does the scratch get picked up? Ah, it's super, it's pretty small. It's pretty small. I would say don't screw, uh, see, there you go. Do not tighten the rod or screw. The assembly should be left loose enough for the panel to wobble around. The IO3 is big brain, unlike me, who is small brain. But also, I feel like, well, maybe, okay, I don't think it's the washer that's making it cant inward. I wonder if the panels themselves are perfectly flat or not, but I guess we could figure it out. Maybe once I build it correctly. Install all four silicone pads to the undersides and then enforce, install four to the, the tops. 3M, 3M is the highest quality. I own 3M stock, buy 3M, support the tape mod. And it's complete. Let's check it out. Nice. Very stable. Let's see, what's the heaviest keyboard I own? So this is the heaviest, one of the heaviest keyboards I own. It's an F1. No problem. Nice, I actually really like it. The angle is a little steep. I mean, it's almost 90 degrees. It's like very, very vertical. Compared to, oops, compared to the Gion stand. It's an acrylic stand. It's like the same price. And it's, uh, yeah, it's like a 30 degree. So this one's also like 30 degrees. I mean, they're both stable. This one just looks nicer. And I feel like it is more robust. Although you're not gonna break this. Yeah, this one's definitely more robust. Cool, so that's that. All right, now let's take a look at the pillar switch opener. It's got a cool little AIO3 and Canon keys. I'm not a huge fan of this like foam packing. It's not very eco-friendly, but here is the pillar. Ooh, it's got a little Canon keys logo in it. Nice touch. It's supposed to be very ergonomic. Ooh, it's kind of nice, wow. This is surprisingly really, really nice. Really nice. I was like, yo, how nice can a switch opener be? It's super easy. I think I actually like this better than my Gatoron switch opener. And there would presumably be less danger in breaking the stems or the leaves. All right, let's just try some other random switches I've got lying around. This is a uh, cream. It's kind of addicting. They designed this really well. This is a random Franken switch made from the leftovers of an H1, uh, of a BCP. It's got the JWK top and cherry bottom. It doesn't pop off quite as easily, but yeah. It, at least for my hands, it fits like right in that knuckle. And so it's super, it's like a one-handed deal I wish they made it long now being longer would be kind of stupid but this is really cool let's try Texi yeah see Texi tops are pretty tight so getting them off is not as simple but this one comes off pretty nice the bottom housings on Texis in my experience are a little bigger as well so yeah see it gets a little stuck just a little bit though 
Mm, so the, the the benefit of this type of switch opener over like some of the other switch crackers that I have is this long middle post, which keeps the bottom housing pins compressed. This is what keeps, you know, these pins keep the keyboard or the switch in the, the plate or, or in this case in the opener. But because it keeps that whole thing compressed and it's, it's a lot longer than I've seen on other switch openers, it's actually very ingenious. And it's got that little bevel to make it easy to pull out as well. This is freaking really well engineered. I was not going to make a full video on this, but I might because this is pretty genius. All right. Well, that's that.